The LFA Octagon touchdown in Southern California in the Costa Mesa Hall at the OC Fairgrounds for LFA 54. Hey, Fight Fans, I'm Ron Kruk. He, of course, is the UFC Hall of Famer, Pat Militich. Pat, LFA 54 started out with some furious finishes. A lot of furious finishes, definitely. Unbelievable pace, and we've got the video to prove it. We begin in the LFA middleweight division. Andre Walker, Kalen Hill. Walker, the glory veteran. Don't blink, because Kalen Hill is going to get another highlight reel finish. The first technique, he lands. And Walker goes to sleep. He fakes the right, hits the spinning back elbow, and Walker's done. Basically called it, took him 11 seconds, and now is back to back to back. First round finishes, unreal. Heavyweights, Irvins, Ayella going down with Mitchell Sight. Well, the big boys went at it most definitely, Ron. It was fast and furious, and Ayala Landing that knee, split side open. That's the scalp slice that happened. And then opened up. You can see the blood starting to pour out of Sipe's forehead there. Referee Frank Tripp stopped that fight. First round finish and victory for Ayala. Moving on to the middleweight division. We had Marietta and Parker, Pat. You know, Parker was looking good early on. He had a lot more experience than Marietta. Obviously, Marietta's camp believing in him, putting him in against a guy with this much experience. And finally, he zeroes in toward the end of this fight. I tell you what, his striking got crisper and crisper, and that right hand finally landed and put the very tough Parker to sleep. Moses Marietta with the old 1-2, his eighth victory, third straight. Keep an eye on him. LFA Women's Flyweight Division Champion Sabina Mazzo defending her belt against Caroline Yarawicki, although she missed weight, so she really wasn't defending her belt. Yarawicki coming all the way from Brazil with that black belt in jiu-jitsu against Sabina Mazzo. For the most part, Sabina Mazzo was able to sit back behind her jab and control this fight. Yarawicki, a very, very tough, tough lady, lasting five rounds battling in there as much as she could. She landed some good right hands now and then, but overall, Mazo completely dominant. In cruise control from the beginning, Sabina Mazo does defend her flyweight title. 